Alright, I am back, and today we are going to be taking a look, uh, by request, at the KFC Tempest figure. And, um, and what was requested was the board. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to rate them on, um, we got jet mode, bot mode, scale, uh, G1 aesthetics, style, weapons, and build quality. Um, we've already looked at the uh, Hasbro Cyclonus. Um, so I, I do have him here. He will be the one we're comparing him to. Um, now I didn't add color on here because uh, I do believe that the Reveal the Shield color is better. So, uh, and I also don't have this particular version's gun, so. Um, oh, oh well, we'll just. Uh, mostly uh, we're gonna compare the th base figures with each other and then, um, but uh, this is gonna be more of a review of the KFC. Uh, figure because I have not looked at the KFC figure. So he does come with uh, instructions. Um, they're just uh, one color sheet. Um, I, I would say I, I kind of like these uh, instruction sheets a little bit better than the, the standard Hasbro one. I do like the color aspect of it. Um, and you know, it's got the little red arrows on what's moving and stuff like that. So uh, I, it's good. Uh, I do. I, it, it's good. He does come with the uh, typical collector's card, which you know who gives a shit. Whatever. And then he does come with the box. And this is kind of pushing more into the masterpiece style box, where you know you got this like flat background and then the glossy figure in the front um tempest 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 uh great artwork here though that that definitely looks like cyclonus there on the back we got uh um a bio if you guys want to pause and read that uh, shows jet mode, jet mode, target master, robot, chug and thug, KFC toys new line of thugs. Okay, not entirely sure what that means. Um, yeah, I think I think he's supposed to be thug, um, and. I, I thought he was Tempest, not Chug, so I don't I don't know what to think on that. Anyway. Um and that's why I don't like looking at the boxes. They don't make any sense sometimes, especially the third party ones. <coughs> so here is the Cyclonus. Um His robot and uh, yeah he's having some difficulty standing at the moment um, I, I do like him uh, I, I like him a lot better than I thought I would um, and you know other people pointed this out the, the back piece here um, it, it's part of the jet that's why it's so square and big but if you kind of cover up that back piece this is you know, his, his waist isn't as big and chunky as he kind of silhouettes as, as you can see. So. And he's having some difficulty standing. Uh, and I'll get into all that in a few moments. Uh, but let's talk about posability real quick. Um, move his weapons out of the way. His head is on a ball joint, so it gets a good range of motion. Um, and, you know, up, down, left, right, all around. And then it's also on a hinge here, um, so it can kind of look further up. But it, the more you do it, it breaks up the aesthetic of the, of the figure itself. Um, shoulders are on ball joints, 
So it goes all the way around, uh, in and out. Uh, really no hindrance there at all. He's got a bicep swivel uh, right up here. Elbow joint, um, not as poseable as I would prefer. The hand uh, doesn't do anything. Uh, and then this doesn't lock into place, but it's actually not as bad as like the TFC ones. Um, those were pretty horrendous. Um, if you unpeg the back, he does get a waist swivel, um, but you really don't want to unpeg that back. Um, hips are in double swivels, um, so in and out, up and down, uh, gets pretty good range of motion there, as you can see. Uh, then there is a thigh swivel, there's a bend at the knee. And then the foot is on a ball joint. So, there you go. So yeah, he looks he looks pretty cool. Uh, so the, now we're going to transform him over into jet mode, and then we'll have him in jet mode too, and we'll compare the two. Um, so first thing you want to do here is um, flip these panels here out, and then the foot can come up. Close it up, up and in, like so. Then the legs, uh, there's a little tab there and a little tab there, and you tab these legs together. Like so. Then uh, you want to take the back piece and unpeg that. Kind of move this out and move the head out of the way. And then you want to take this nose cone here and feed it up and through the top section here. Um, this is where things get a little tight, but uh, you, it's not as bad as some other people may it seem. Uh, but it does get tight. So you want to pull that up there and then you can uh, pull the nose cone out. Like so. And then you want to unpeg the chest. And this pegs in very nicely. So. Alright. And then you take the chest here, and this folds all the way down. Like so. You take the arms, and they rotate around. Like this. Then you rotate the arms down. Um, and then there's these little side panels here. These fold out. And then you take the, let's do this part here. Uh, the head will just kind of go into this little slot right here. Um, and then you collapse the whole section down and there's a little tab right there that will plug into this little hole right there on both sides. So you just kind of line those up and it all tabs in. And once it's tabbed in, it does hold pretty securely. Then you unfold the wings here. They're just on double hinges. so. Just kind of fold it out and like so. Rotate the arm like this, and then you want to take this little piece here and this flips up. What purpose that serves, I don't know, but that's what you're supposed to do. Then you can take the hand here and then you rotate this down, and then it'll actually go into this little hole that we've created in the legs. So you just line that up and just push it in. Do the same thing over here. And then there's a little tab on the end of these here. And there's a little slot that goes all the way through the back tail fin right there. So you just line those up, tab them in. And 
there you have him in jet mode. And it, it's a really solid jet mode. I, I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, this might be because I had very low expectations from KFC to pull anything off um, with any kind of success. <laughs> um, he's got little landing gear. So there you go. I'm going to flip him over into robot mode real quick, or jet mode real quick. Yeah, you know, I, I got this guy in and, you know, I wasn't expecting much from him. I, I honestly thought, oh, this this is just going to be crap. Um, and I, I, I'm, so far, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I'm not saying that he's perfect figure. Uh, we'll get into that later. Um, but... Okay, so here is the Universe Cyclonus. Um, he too has some landing gear. I'll fold that out real quick. And honestly, there is no comparison here. Uh, the Even if I had to reveal the shield that were in more of these colors, this does not um the the his jet mode has always sucked um you know it's it's gappy um it's kind of flimsy doesn't hold together as well as it should and it just looks goofy um you know i always thought that this jet mode was okay um and that we we're sacrificing some of the uh, jet mode to make a really awesome robot mode. And now this guy comes along and is just like, oh, so that's how you do the jet mode. Because <laughs> um, this is a really, really good jet mode. I really, really am impressed. Um, now, if you had the Target Master, you could plug him in on the top here. Um, with this one, um, we could take this gun here, and this will plug in underneath here, like so. Um, giving him a little bit extra a little nose cone with a rifle on it. Um, I don't see any place to attach this gun anywhere on this figure. Um, so, can't do anything there. And then the target master here, there's a little square peg right there. And he's got the little square hole. Um, see, this doesn't, it, it won't fit in there. But this one, you can slide in there. And usually the uh, leg pegs, like when you put the two legs together, um, usually that doesn't work very well, but this works well enough. Um, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it, it will hold the figure decently. Um, as you can see, it... Yeah, okay, I lied. It... It'll hold it there, at least. Uh, so. I mean, it's not, like, readily falling out, but if you turn it upside down, it will fall out. Um, so, uh, you know, like I said, it holds decently. Um, so getting that out of the way. Uh, so I'm going to give the first point to the KFC for the jet mode. Hands down wins um, not even a challenge. Not even close to a challenge um, this jet mode just kills it we're going to talk about weapons um, I don't have his target master but it was a pretty good target master but this guy's better um, so transform him you just kind of fold him 
up. This will fold onto his back. Straighten the waist down. And there you go. Um, but this guy just, he looks better. Um, he, he's better. He's He's got really nice paint sculpt. Uh, or paint and sculpt on his face. Definitely looks like a little robot. Um, really, really like this. I kind of wish they would have put little holes in his hands so that um, he can hold maybe like a really tiny weapon. Uh, but that's nowhere near a deal breaker for me. Uh, for posability, his head is on a ball joint. So it gets a good range of motion there. Zoom in on this guy. So his head's on a ball joint. Uh, looks around, up, down, all the way around. Shoulder is on a ball joint. Um, there's a bend at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the waist. Hips are on ball joints. Knee is on a swivel. And then the foot is on a ball joint. So he's infinitely more poseable. The, um, if you remember on the, um, actual one, he didn't have as shiny legs, uh, as this guy does. So, um, this guy does definitely beat him, uh, the original one. I really wish I had the original one to compare, but I don't. But honestly, this guy just, he trumps him so, so, so much that, you know, there is no comparison on these, um. On these figures here so so there's that and then the uh, KFC one also does come with this little rifle and this little pistol type thing so he comes with two guns and a target master uh, this guy came with a target master which you know I don't have um, but even if I did have it, um, the target master here is superior, and he comes with two other guns. So weapons also goes to KFC. Uh. All right, and then to transform him back, um, you want to take the gun off, fold up the landing gear. Um, Pull the chest up here, or the uh, back, I guess. Fold that up. Pull the arms out. And then these will rotate around, and then come up here. And then you can rotate the arms down. Rotate the arms, or shoulder forward. This little piece will fold up. The hand, if it's not already in place, can you just move that into place. And then you double hinge the wings back. Do the same thing over here. Like so. And then you take this chest piece here and this will come up and then there's the two little tabs there. There, they'll plug into that hole there and there. So like so. Take the back assembly here, and this will fold back. Uh, and then you want it to fold up the nose cone here inside there. And this will fold down. And then you, this whole assembly here, um, this joint right here to get it to that first movement uh, is really tight. First time, first time going through it, I thought it was going to break, but um, it was just really super tight. So, um, and then. You just kind of push this through and it gets like I said before it's a little tight there's this little door right here that you kind of open up and that's where the nose cone is going to come through like so and then you can kind of fold it down so it's, it's only open just a little bit and then um, there's little pegs on the back that plug into those little holes there So, fold the head forward, split the legs. You can flip this, these little panels in. 
these panels here out like so, like so. and there you have Tempest back into robot mode And the camera just reset. I don't know what missed. But then we got Tempest back into uh, robot mode. Um, and posability wise on the universe one here. Let's see here. Let me get him into robot mode. These guys are super simple. Which is one thing I always liked about this one. It's just, he's simple, but once you get him into robot mode, he looks just awesome. There we go. Um, now, in comparison, the posability on the two, um, you know, he had a ball jointed head, he's just got swivel, uh, he's got swivel arms, he had uh, the ball jointed arms, uh, he can swivel out, and he's got a forearm pivot and a bend at the elbow. His elbow is better than his. Uh, hands don't rotate, so um, about equal on arm posability. Uh, nothing at the waist either. Ball jointed hips. Uh, he's got that extra swivel in there too. Uh, he's got a thigh swivel, bends at the knee. Uh, he bends at the knee, and then his toe and heel do pivot. And he he's his toe pivots because it's on a ball joint, but uh, it does not. He does not have a heel spur, which is a problem. I'm, I'm like I said. I'm not saying this this guy's perfect by any means. Um, so when it comes down to the bot mode, it really, I think, depends on what your personal thought on Cyclonus should be. Um, this guy is definitely a little bit smaller and skinnier. Uh, he's taller, and he's got more bulk to him. Um, you know, to the point where some people have called him a little chunky. In hand, he doesn't quite look that bad, but in comparison, he definitely is a thicker figure than he is. Um, which I kind of like, because he's supposed to be second command of the Decepticons. He shouldn't be so spindly. Um, uh, so, he, I, I think he's... I think this one works a little bit better for bot mode. Um, but he still works so well in bot mode. Um, I'm going to have to give the, the point to both of them. Um, I, I, I really can't sit here and say which one has the better bot mode um you know it's like i could say he's got better colorations but there's also reveal the shield cyclonus which is closer to these colorations anyway so there i, I would say there if you don't like these colorations you could get a different ver version of him let's go into scale um here they are with the seeker jet um which is this is about where uh, I think the Cyclone should be in comparison to the Seeker. He should be bigger than the Seeker. Um, so he's just a little bit bigger. Uh, and he is... <sighs> See, to the top of the head, minus the horns, he's almost a head taller uh, than this one. Uh, to the top of the horns, he's about half a head taller. Um... So, either one of these really kind of work um, with this classic Seeker mold. Here they are with the Brainstorm, which is the uh, same size as the uh, Stars, the uh, Eye Gear Seeker, so the bigger Seekers. So, this would neither one of these work with the larger collection, larger classics. I mean, they work with Brainstorm because he's. A headmaster but I mean if this was a seeker this would not work because Cyclone should be bigger than the seeker here they are next to Springer um, and here again you can kind of see 
This one doesn't quite work with Springer, uh, but this one almost does. It's top of his head. He is almost the same height as Springer. Um, he, I'm not saying that he's about a Voyager class. He's definitely a large deluxe. Um, but still to the high, top of the head, he's, he's about Springer height. So, um, I think this one works better with Springer than the universe one. And straighten him out a little bit. And here they are with the Masterpiece car. Uh, and you can see again, he's about the same height as the Masterpiece car. Uh, he's not. Um, you definitely, you know, this really helps, you know, see where he fits. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't work for Masterpiece Collection at all, uh, on many levels. It's not a Masterpiece figure, but neither is a Hasbro. And then let me grab Galvatron. So here's the Unique Toys Galvatron. And you know, in some scenes, Cyclonus was taller than Galvatron, and in some scenes he wasn't. Um, you know, here he almost is the same height as Galvatron. If you go to the top of the horns, he is the same height as Galvatron. He, top of the horns, comes up, he's a full, full head and shoulders shorter. So, you know, if I had to choose, I would choose him to go with the Galvatron. But, honestly, either one of these guys pale in comparison to the awesomeness of this guy. It's because this is difference between companies. You know, KFC can compete with the Hasbro sculpts, but neither one of them compete with the unique toys sculpt on Galvatron here. And here they are with the Scourge figure. Um, so if you like your Scourge to be a little bit smaller than Cyclonus, then this works. If you want them about the same size, then this works. So um, for a scale point, I'm going to give it to... Um, I'm going to have to give it to the KFC one. Um, because he... He works better with like the Voyager figures. Um, he's not quite a Voyager himself. He's definitely a deluxe, but I think he just works better with them um, than he does. He works better with deluxes. Um, like I said, he works well with the Seeker mold, but not so well with the Springer mold. G1. Um, Cyclonus was a thicker figure or a thicker ca character, um, and this is also you know representing that that toy too. Uh, I think pretty well, the original G1 toy. Um, I have to give the G1 point again to KFC. Um, I I mean he, I know they're kind of trump. He's tromping the Hasbro one and. Um, and rightfully so in certain points style um like which one has the better style um yeah again that's a that's a hard call that's a real hard call they both look really really nice um uh but i'm gonna have to give the style point to the hasbro um, because he looks more like a modern take on Cyclones, whereas he looks more like a throwback. Um, not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, you know, calling it how it is. And then there's build quality. This is a Hasbro figure. A very well done Hasbro figure. You can see I'm shaking him and he's not moving shaking him and he's not moving either but there are some issues that we got going on here uh, first and foremost these ball joints are loose 
Um, that's something I can easily fix, and I will be easily fixing. Um, they're they're actually not that loose. It's just the weight of the figure make it feel loose. Um, but they're not any looser than like Scourge's ball joints here. It's just he's got more plastic mass to him. Um, and it's just at that angle where it's it's important, it's imperative to have really tight um, ball joints there. Um, so there's one issue. The next issue is he does not have a heel spur. He really needs a heel spur. The figure does have weight on the back, and without having a heel spur, he just has a tendency of falling back. He he needed a heel spur. Um, it's not a, a break for me, but it's close to because this, I mean, the Hasbro figure, he's not very back heavy, but he's got a heel spur. Mania King, heel spur. Heel spur. Heel spur. <laughs> you know, and I could keep going on and on and on with that. No heel spur. It's it's really, really disappointing. Uh, it I mean they really needed to engineer a heel spur on there. Uh, so moving up the figure, um, you got the feet. Um, those are a little bit of an issue. Legs are fine. I love the legs. I love the chest. I love the way it transforms. It's a little fidgety and a little tight, but I'm not. I'm 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 okay with it. It works well. Um, the hands, I do wish that there was like a little clip in here to hold the hands in place. Um, it is a little bit of annoyance. Um, and, and quite frankly, you know, I think they should have made the forearms a little bit bigger. Um, and then just did like him where the hands can fold up inside. Um, because as it is, it does look like he's got this nice thick legs, thick body, thick shoulders, and then kind of dinky arms um I, I do wish they would have done something better with that but it works uh i don't get these at all um i don't think they serve any real purpose whatsoever um so i don't i don't i don't see what they're they're for they just kind of get in the way if anything uh head um, is on this hinge here. The hinge is kind of loose, uh, and I do wish that there was a clip that would um, peg it into place. But um, again, you know, with this piece sitting back here, it doesn't. It, I mean, it doesn't flop around or anything, um, so it, it's not a break deal again for me. Now, this is the one thing that really bugs me about this figure. Um, the head is hollow. Um, it's hard to explain because you can't see that it's hollow, but it, it, it's it's hollow. It's it's weird. It's and when you touch it, it feels like cheap cheap toy, um, like a, a knockoff or um, like a McDonald's toy or something like that. It feels cheap. Um, it doesn't look cheap. The rest of the figure's plastic is fine. It's just the head. It's hollow. And it's like, as soon as you touch it, you can tell that it's a hollow head. It, it's weird. It I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that aspect of it. Um, so build quality, I, I have to give the point to Hasbro. Um, I think KFC's close, um, but it does have some issues that I just went over. Um... So all in all, according to my chart here, the winner is with uh, one, two, three, four, five, five out of seven points is KFC. So KFC. And Hasbro got three. Now, as far as a, a rating on this figure goes, um, at his original price point, uh, which I think was like $75, $85, something like that, uh, I, I would give him a 6 or 7. Um, yeah, he he has a few issues, and that's a lot of money to spend on something that has a few issues. Um, for a 
right now he's on sale pretty much everywhere at about a $50 price point. For that, I would say um, I'd give him an 8. Uh, I think he's definitely worth more, um, or he, he's a better figure once you start cutting that cost down a little bit. Um, you know, if he were a twenty dollar figure, I would say he's infinitely better than him. But as it is, uh, he is a good figure, uh, quite enjoyable, uh, a lot more enjoyable than I thought I was going to uh, to have with him. And yeah, you know, and he's got two <laughs> he's got two hands, so he you can have him hold two different weapons at the same time, which is really super nice. I am looking at you. He's only got one hand hole, in case you guys were wondering. So I'm going to give him both these guns, um, the one that both the ones that clip into the jet mode, and then I'm going to take because I, I always like to have a Cyclonus and then a um, Armada because Unicron created two, but we never saw what happened to him. So I'm going to give that pistol to him, and that looks pretty good in his hand. Um, Anyway, um, but yeah, at the price point that he's at right now on the clearance sales, I think he's worth it. Uh, anything more than that, uh, then I would hesitate to buy. Um, I don't think he's really good enough to replace, uh, if you've already got like the reveal the shield. If you don't have the reveal the shield version of Cyclonus, then yes, this guy is definitely worthwhile. Because the Reveal of Shield Cyclonus is almost the same cost. So you might as well get a little bit of a bigger figure with a little bit nicer design, I would say. Yeah, he's got some issues, but what figure doesn't? Um, so like I said, I, I don't think he's worth rushing out and buying a new one. If you want a Cyclonus that's a little bit bigger, then definitely pick him up. Um, if you want a Cyclonus that's got a better jet mode if you like to leave them in alternate mode then definitely this guy is a better figure um but if you're kind of a casual collector and you're just looking for a good cyclonus and you already have uh either universe or reveal the shield then i don't i don't think this guy is necessary um and that, and that's one issue that i have with kfc making this figure in the first place is just you know, why would you make a figure that we don't need? If they made it in MP scale, then I would understand. If they would make it, um, you know, like Unique Toys or DX and I is making them in Legend scale now. Makes sense. But this scale, where he's just around the same size as the one that we already have that's a good figure, it made no sense. Uh, but that being said, uh, yeah, like I said, I give him an 8 out of 10. Uh, I do think he's a good figure, um, and I, I do say he's worth checking out. Uh, I, I'm i quite enjoying him uh, myself, but I'm trying to be unbiased here. And then, uh, just because I was asked on the head sculpt, we'll zoom in here. Um, try to get both these guys in here at the same time. There we go. So, you can see he's got a pretty good head sculpt here. Um, yes, it is a little bit large, but he did have a large head. Um, in a lot of the episodes, his head was pretty big. Um, but that is a very nice head sculpt and a very nice paint design on there. I, I think they did an excellent job on that, except the head's hollow. It's, it's so weird. Um, and then we got this one, who's... Um, he's got the light piping and... The heads, the face sculpt is okay. The head sculpt is good, but the face is okay. I think, I think in terms of the head sculpt, um, definitely KFC tops Hasbro. Um, I, 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 yeah, definitely, definitely tops them. So I guess that's it. Uh, so question of the day is going to be, which one do you guys think looks better? Um, which one would you rather have in your collection? 